Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen about that MBC, that routing, view bag, view data, and how to pass that from controller to view. So in this in this video, we are going to see that one how to pass data from view to controller. So just going to create one class that is a model class. Just make it name as a product. Product model. In the product model, you can add that uh, properties like a product ID, name, description, description, base price. category this one. so now we have created that one the model that is a product ID name description base price and category so now this one we are going to add one more controller that will be product controller so we are going to Right click add controller that will be the empty, empty controller. Let's write that one product. Here do you see the product controller? Let's press enter. So this one we are going to add into that uh, layout page. Let's delete this one. It's old one, old data. It is the home controller and delete that word more content. This one it is here. So it will generate that one and it will generate that uh, layout. Here the show all that will include this one. You can see that layout. So here going to add one more that is a product. So this one will be product and uh, the text name is the product, link text is product and ax action name will be the index and also one more that is a product controller name. Now run that application. First we will delete this one. This one is not with that. We already seen in the last video. So one more the text is coming that is a product just click that one. So here actually it's a searching product dot index. So now we didn't add it one thing. So just go to the product controller add a view that will be the index view. This one is the index view. So here we can see the product. Run that one. Also, product contact home route. So, here we are going to add some controls for strongly types. Just go to that index and close all. So, now here we are going to design that. Build set. First, we'll add that build set. Then, legend. So, legend will be the product. Okay. 
and for the strongly types I am going to pass that in the product controller this one will become like a new product that is the product model is a product model after this one product model I am going to pass this one from view to from controller to view just add the reference so here I can call that one model new model and then a fully qualified name that will be the model star product model okay First of all, you here add that one as per dot begin form. So in that one, using statement HTML dot begin form. So first, it will ask that action name. So I'm going to create one more action method that will be the index only, but it will be that post and object name will be that product model so product model will be say product model so this value i am going to pass this one that product model model i am going to pass from from the view so view so here first will be that action then Controller name, controller name is product, then form method, form method is that post method, HTTP post, like a post method. Outside in okay. So now it's a div class. Class will be form row container. And second one will be the label we have to that will be the label container. So here I can write that one label uh, product ID and second one one more div that for value. It will be that value container, and then we are going to use that one HTML dot text box for so model so model dot product ID. So let's run that one. Let's check that uh, it's looking. Like a text area, it should be text box for this request. Now, next will be just copy this one and paste it here. So, here that one, next one will be that name. We have to make it a name. One more add. So we change the name. Product added to theme. 
this one description here also same then description after that base price base price that category Okay, okay. Yeah, that because it's a product integer is a default is zero, so that's why it's a binding. So now we'll add one button. Now add one more div. That for button container. This one add that one. Button container. So add that button. Add product. refresh now you can see here one button came that is add product make a big point here so now what we need to do that we need to pass that uh, that value to that product controller so we already written that one that all those things here so just uh, return a simple we no don't need to pass this one so we will check that that of what the value is coming so here i am using that std post so in that index also i begin that trans that one also we are using that one post method so it should call this method this product so enter 1001 name will be samsung then description also samsung dress the price is 25,000 and category will be the mobile ok just click that add see now it's coming see that you can see that value but base price is 25,000 category is mobile description is samsung name also samsung and product is a 1000 one so this kind of thing is happening in mvc with the use of a model binder so here that will be mediator between the view and controller actually it's binding that one because first uh, i am in that view that uh, index view i am passing that one that product model to that view so it's binding that one at same i am returning to that post method through post method so here you can see that one that is the post method is coming that value the data so again it will return that view so it will be blank. So now I will do that validation. If uh, you deleted that one, I will click that add. So it's coming, but that uh, will do that validation here. So now user cannot enter that one, that will blank value. That here, once they will click that one, something add product, so it will validate. So how will do it with the use of a data annotation? So go to that here the product model and using system dot so this one will be that required field 
so it will be make a required and this one also it's a required all are required so just copy and paste it this twice okay so here this is error message product id is required next one error message there is no constructor method is uh, properties is there so you can write like that name is also required and uh, description is required and base price is and category is also required okay so only you need to add here that after that this one html dot validation message for so you can write here same like that model model dot product value this for Same like this one, model dot work title. This lambda expression. Same you have to copy here. This one will be name and add here. description and this one also this plus and one more is that category so here also you can write that just save it or on that application let's see so just make a blank and check that one if validate is working or not so now it's can see that its validation is working fine so here are this asking just make a breakpoint of that application here let's see it's coming or not just click that one it's coming but returning that it's a validation error and one more thing is that we have to change that color this one this one is coming that black so we will change into red so how you will change in that product id just click this one and make it null here the message should be null message will come from that uh, data annotation that product owned model so here it create the new at the rate class because class is that system defined so that's why we are writing like a at the rate of class then equal to that class name will be the text tangent like this then same have to copy and one more thing uh, if you will write here that a star like that like a star like this so that one we inherit 
from that product model so product model but we have mentioned here that product id is not required so this one will not display so the, uh, that star will display so that's why we are going to make as a null and just copy and paste that other one I'll run that one So just click the make it blank. Just click on this after. So now it's a coming array. So product ID is required, name is required, description is required. So now if you will change this one to star, right? Instead of null, that's I'm going to change that description as a star. I'll make it star. Okay, just run again. Refresh it. Continue. So now you can see here it's a blank here, so it's showing that a star. This one, this one is showing the star. So that's why I have changed to null. So what actually I mentioned in that product model that should be displayed. So here you can check that if product if models state dot is valid then we can insert into database otherwise return like if you say the model state or so here is checking that if it's a model state dot is valid that means validation is done right validation is working fine if it's not then we can return anything and uh, something uh, like uh, when we are going to use the database so that times uh, if uh, one product is already added okay and uh, same product if you will try to add one more time so it will return that one message that is when a particular product is already exist so that also we can do that one with that model model error so here we can use that one. We can write that one product is already exist, something like that. So that one, it will return to that view. So that value will be displayed. If that kind of thing we will do in the next video. Thanks for watching.